Well, hello, ha, my 81 wonders. We're witnessing the normal, unimaginable to the individual, but normal problem of having six million subscribers and elegantly adamantly sharing the truth about the New World Order. Well, of course, I'm speaking about Russell Brand getting, you know, demonetized or kicked off YouTube and uh, all because of this accusation that he uh, raped a girl back when he was just a comedian mo movie star who was doing heroin and drinking a lot of hard liquor. So, you know, the dark side loved to control and transform the function. For example, the weather, the function is for the, the sun to have its amazing dance and relationship to help everything grow and live, whereas they've turned it into something, a program with nanotech and truth or comedians, you know, ever since the the Dark Ages, the so-called Dark Ages, before these Dark Ages, the clown jester, the court jester, was the only one who was able to get into the the courts and tell the truth, right? So, kill the message of truth. How long shall they kill? Shadow ban and character assassinate our prophets and truth tellers while you try to look away and just obey the crooks I'm not asking you who took the experiment and I'm not asking you who obey the book so won't you have to sing these songs of freedom all I ever had Redemption songs Songs of freedom <laughs> Tucker and Russell kill the message of truth Why? They were the most beloved of all anchormen And comedians who had a daily truth service many years, right? Tucker got far more views on Fox than any other, of course, and Jesse Walters is pretty good, but... So... This is also about channelers, so it's... Tucker and Russell kill the message of truth and channelers. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. And this is the great holy sacred church of the real Christ which needs no edifice besides some kind of communication device like YouTube or Odyssey Rumble or just a microphone a recording device and something to record with and distribute or just a book pamphlet, a Xerox or just standing on the corner with the megaphone. Anything that in the age of Aquarius, the age of electronic gadgets we can use to communicate can help this message. So, <clears throat> that Christ was cr crucified for your mistakes. So go ahead and live it up and sin and live the sin life and obey the devil. This is the subconscious message it sends you if you believe the shit. But here in the Gnostic Church of uh, the the Christ Goddess within us all, I'm not going to tell you lies. Um, all of the beings that I've studied who uh, were channelers, a lot of them had suffered a lot of attacks as well, uh, in one way or the other. And of course, the number one attack being that most of the, unfortunately, in <clears throat> channeling most of the, I'm studying the West Penra papers dot com or westpenra dot com the West Penra papers I fully agree with him that most of the channeling is um the the dark side um 
the dark ETs infiltrate into the channels. So the, the Seth materials was one of the first. Um, I got in the habit uh, over a decade ago, or before I really got into Gnostic uh, belief that I, you know, into even after it, for, for just for fun. And there's still one guy in New York City. Um, there's very few who are into it now, but supposed channeling phenomenon. And the Seth, I read almost all the Seth materials uh, uh, I could find. And Jane Roberts, um, they were playing with the Ouija board, and her and her boyfriend. And so, but he, he got this spirit called Seth, and he started to, uh, wow, it's actually physically, physically 20, 25 degrees cooler than, than it would be in nature here. Even though that might be a natural morning fog, even though, so, so and, uh, you know, this voice gave some good spiritual wisdom, kernels and jewels of wisdom, like many entities will. Sold millions of books, and she was from, her mom was on welfare, but been crazy, and then she, uh, what happened, I think, my theory is that the Seth spirit told her that it was okay and good to drink a beer and have a cigarette every night, because that's what she wanted to do. And that spurred her to die of rheumatoid arthritis at age 59. So my theory is that this spirit killed her, gave her early death. After, you know, giving a lot of pearls of the, the multidimensional reality to people. I mean, this book, these books helped you to, to tune into the multidimensionality, but of course it was in a certain way. <clears throat> and they only give you, like a lot of great books like Castaneda, they give you, you know, five or ten pages of extremely useful spiritual wisdom amidst uh, the, you know, exciting stories or having to go through the story, the drama. <clears throat> so, but in the Seth materials also, uh, they channeled that, uh, <clears throat> they claim that there's actually three Jesus, um, and I, I agree with this because uh, the whole idea of monotheism is combining all these you know, it was, it was an edifice of combining a bunch of different things. So one was supposedly this powerful wizard who died on the cross. Uh, one was uh, <clears throat> Yeshua, our teacher, that supposedly uh, reproduced with Mary Magdalene and uh, the bloodline of Christ, which they, they continued to try to attack. For and One was the, the miracles that were performed from John the Baptist, who was Yeshua's teacher, so who they beheaded at the at the banquet, you know. So the history of the dark side, that's what he got, that's what John the Baptist got for revealing the Christ wisdom to the masses 2,000 years, and so 2,000 plus years ago, you know, they beheaded him, okay. The dark, um, through history, the dark side send us a consistent message. <clears throat> Don't spread the truth. Don't spread the truth about the Creator, freedom, and slavery, or you will be fired, removed, or killed. I mean, I think Russell Brand was doing a great job. Um, you know, famous comedians throughout the ages have tried and died telling the truth about <clears throat> the Matrix and re recent history. Maybe they were too confused by the ancients. Um, you know, court jesters are the only ones who were allowed could bring truth into castles from the ancient days, you know. So George Carlin, you know, did he take um, chemotherapy after knowing the truth about the companies that own these things, you know? Did he die of the chemotherapy? Was he suicidal is another question I have. Was George Carlin suicidal? He just didn't want to get older or ready to uh, reveal and then go. He's just ready to reveal the truth and then go. Whereas Dave Chappelle actually did the same thing that they said Yeshua or Jesus did in the Bible. He actually turned the, the tables on the money changers. Um, Robin Williams, the last few years of his life, he was doing comedy tours. Um, and he put released live albums where it's parental ex advisory explicit lyrics uh, where he was cussing and talking shit about how stupid the 1% were. And he grew up in those crowds, so he was making fun of it, and they didn't like that. So they suicided him. The suicidal Illuminati controllers, who I think they're the ones who are suicidal in the long term, when you look at the long term picture, they remind us 
of the truth by killing truthers, okay? Or, you know, ignoring them, shadow banning them. <clears throat> you know, the, the fears that many people would have about channelers, unfortunately, turned out to be true. Um, they're... The whole, the whole origin of the whole thing started over 100, about 130 years ago with Madame Blavatsky. And then Aleister Crowley they started channeling some of the most evil beings there are and bringing their energy in here. So it's true. Most of the, controller, the dark controller ETs they're channeling. But nowadays they'll make it sound really nice. Um, you know, add in a lot of spiritual bypassing. Um, the New Age movement was actually started by these dark beings. Um, so... Then we have the law of one, and this is the even more uh, amazingly tragic thing. That, but only Wes Penra had the the articulate discernment to be able to see it. But this, well, I saw it too. But I just, you know, stupidly, this is what the masses will do. This is what I was doing. What normal people do, because so many people accepted this as the golden standard of channel of truth. I just skimmed I just looked past it even though I thought it was was overtly you know the dark ETs but they use the term harvest throughout the books uh, the law of one it's out of print and then the lady was a devout Christian but she began got into channeling a uh, Bible thumper type then she killed herself after that um, so that's a heavy then we have of course a course in miracles the, the same thing the lady went crazy after she supposedly was channeling Jesus and the guy who was transcribing it was actually in the Monarch program and MKUltra, um, you know, officer in the CIA. So the whole thing's uh, on Wikipedia, okay? So the, the connection between alien mind control and channels and possession is, is known, okay? And the, what I, that's why when I say, you know, it's narcissistic parasites, no one can contest that, you know? Uh, but the, the problem is, like... We have in the modern era, you know, um, David Wilcock, he, he wrote these great book, fat books. And he exposed how 70% of the pharmaceutical companies are owned by, say, the Rothschilds, families of England, and other facts that they really didn't want people to know. And he, he wrote, put big graphs. And, you know, he, he got pretty much probably fairly wealthy and famous and a beautiful um, girlfriend in Hollywood or wife. He married this woman. Um... You know, and not to talk trash, because I love David Wilcox stuff, you know. But he's got the big forehead, Pisces. I think, I don't know, he might be Jewish or Ashkenazi blonde. Anyway, they built him up and, you know, millions of dollars. And um, so then he says he's channeling um, Archangel Michael, uh, which Lisa Renee, you know, has pointed out that there's the false Archangel Michael. And then a lot of other uh, psychics have pointed this out, too. That there's the false version, right? So... So when he starts talking about he's channeling Archangel Archangel Michael, uh, all of a sudden I can see his ego get real inflated, and he thinks he's the reincarnation of uh, Edgar Casey, which I don't know I have any reason to believe he is or isn't. But uh, so what happened is after he sold millions of books um, exposing the dark side, okay, he he supposedly he says that he channels the same raw from the raw the law of one. So all of a sudden, I'm seeing his like uh, really extreme grandiosity, uh, the the narcissistic kind of you know. I'm not saying he's a you know has the full blown. I mean, most everyone has it to some degree, the tendency um, or not. You know, few people don't. But anyway, he got real paranoid. He got afraid to do live videos. He made a really awesome, beautiful live video about the rainbow body with uh, Dan. Dan and and um, right after the lockdown, I, I would I would check that out. It's a really good video. But then he got really paranoid, and he started making false predictions. And um, a, a lot of these channelers do that. And then uh, now he makes videos of wild animals. He moved to Colorado and got a divorce, and now he makes videos of wild animals. So all these factors makes me feel like you know I, I hope he can I hope he's really discerning the difference you know between because he comes with a lot of beautiful information and truth that then he's, he he believes the law of one is the gold standard so why do they use the term in the law of one they use the term harvest why do they say harvest is the question Wes Penner and I both ask because it's the dark side harvesting us you know if you enjoyed this uh, make sure you subscribe and 
click the notification bell and uh, let's make this a better world. I got a little bit more here.